Yeah, I want to start with a question about uh, your pandemic planning and then a question about your economic plan. You, you spoke about the need to access the outgoing administration's COVID vaccine distribution plans. What do you see as the biggest threat to your transition right now, given President Trump's unprecedented attempt to obstruct and delay a smooth transfer of power? More people may die if we don't coordinate. Look, as my chief of staff, Ron Klain, would say, who handled Ebola, a vaccine is important. It's of little use until you're vaccinated. So how do we get the vaccine? How do we get over 300 million Americans vaccinated? What's the game plan? It's a huge, huge, huge undertaking to get it done, prioritize those greatest in need, and working our way through it, and also cooperate with the World Health Organization and the rest of the world in dealing with this. And so they say they have this warp speed program that they not only dealt with getting vaccines, but also how to, how to distribute this. If we have to wait until January 20th to start that planning, it puts us behind over a month, month and a half. And so it's important that it be done, that there be coordination now now or as rapidly as we can get that done. It's important that people who are in the greatest need get it. I wouldn't hesitate to get the vaccine. But I also want to set uh, um, an example. Uh, and uh, But I, I wouldn't hesitate to get the vaccine if, in fact, Dr. Dr. Fauci and these two organizations, whether it's Moderna or Pfizer, who have been extremely responsible, conclude that it is, uh, it is safe and, uh, and, and able to be done. Look, the only reason people question the vaccine now is because of Donald Trump. That's the reason why people are questioning the vaccine, because all the things he says and doesn't say, whether it's, is it truthful, is it not truthful, the exaggerations. Think about this. There should be no group more than 10 people in one room, at one, I mean, in, 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 inside the homes. That's what they're telling me. They're telling me they're, you know, making sure that that's the case. And I have the, I have the, the more potent mask behind this. When I took it off, when I came out here, I wear it inside this, that to be masked. It saves lives. And so, look, I just want to make sure that uh, we're able to be together uh, next Thanksgiving, uh, next Christmas. I mean, it's, it is a, an international crisis. It's an international health crisis. And the idea, we're at war with the virus. And it is we're at war, for real. And all kidding aside, I hope all of you, I've watched you all, you all seem to wear masks all the time when you're, and the, and the group that follows me, that is here, follows me, that is assigned to Delaware with me, seem to do that. I strongly urge you to do it. There's nothing macho about not wearing a mask. And the Republican, we're told, I don't know that's true. You may know, Senator, but there's 22 Republicans say they won't vote for anything. Well, there ought to be at least, at least a dozen of them have the courage to stand up and save lives and jobs now. We should be doing it now, keeping those businesses open, providing the PPE, the protective equipment, as well as the PPP, the money that we allow people to get funding to keep their businesses open, everything from separation to testing to a whole range of things that allow businesses to open and stay open. That's what the plan was at the beginning. And by the way, if you notice, in the very beginning, when they passed the stimulus program, the first two pieces, what happened? People, businesses were staying open. And then when they weren't open, they were still able to make people able to get paid. Having a lot of meetings with world leaders on the, t on the telephone, I cannot get into negotiating with them about things that are going to be done, but they're calling with some degree of enthusiasm. Uh, um, everyone from uh, uh, the Holy Father to prime ministers across the globe. Um, and so we're moving along. Uh, knowing what the outcome will be. And uh, um, as I said earlier, and I probably shouldn't repeat it, but I find this uh, more embarrassing for the country than debilitating for my ability to get started.